everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about the 1986 film Lady Jane. Uh, this is another one of my Hannah Bonham Carter films of course and a lot of you did say that I have to watch this one now before I watch any of the other ones that I haven't yet watched. And I'm glad that I did kind of prioritise it. There are a couple of things that I'm not 100% a fan of but I'll talk about that in a moment. But basically in a nutshell it's very good. Lady Jane of course is about Lady Jane Grey who to be honest I knew very little about prior to watching this film and I enjoyed going in like that and I would definitely just definitely suggest to anybody else who fancies watching it who knows nothing about Lady Jane read the back of the DVD or the, like, the, the brief plot on IMDB or something and that is it because I didn't know how that was going to end and I was so blown away whereas I think if you knew how Lady Jane's story came to a conclusion it might not have the same shock factor and um, so just in terms of that, it develops as a normal film would. Yes, it's biographical, but it, it's not like you're watching a dull documentary or anything. It is still quite exciting and intense, and the plot does develop very well. However, there are the first... I'd say the first hour is a bit boring. There's about an hour... There's two hours and ten minutes in the film, and the first hour, maybe the first 40 minutes, is just really really slow and that is such a shame because I was actually tempted to switch it off if it hadn't been a Helena fan if it, hadn't, if it hadn't been a Helena film I might have given up but I kept going and so do do persevere through the first bit it's a bit dull and I think that's because it's complicated but it doesn't explain things very well it's a um, I mean as far as the box tells you Lady Jane was Queen of England for nine days when she was 16. That's the knowledge that I had when I went into this. I didn't know any of her relations because I'm I like the monarchy but I'm not that knowledgeable to be honest and that's all I knew. She was Queen for nine days at the age of 16 so I didn't know who her relations were or how she like, how she fitted in in the monarchy and where she was in the timeline. So the first sort of 40 minutes doesn't explain that very well so it's quite confusing um, but it I found it to be easier to understand the further it got into it. Uh, so that's not too much of a bad thing, but I am kind of saying there, do go into it blind if you don't know anything about her, but be prepared to have to persevere. I'm assuming if you already know a load about her, the film will be easier to follow from the start, and it won't be as slow pacing, um, but just a little warning there. The film's directed by Trevor Nunn, and it's, it's, it's lovely. It does bring to life a sense of the middle of the 16th century. The costumes are beautiful, and uh, they're really, really pretty. And there are just some really funny scenes, not necessarily funny ha-ha, but funny what on earth. There's a scene with some sheep. Um, you'll know which scene I mean when I see it. It was just the most, it, it's so out of place, but it works at the same time. And then there's the scene with the beggars, when the, the carriage has to stop because of the beggars. There's just something about that scene and, and the woman's reaction when she approaches Lady Jane. I just thought that's, that's quite powerful, it's simple. Um, but it worked well and as the film progressed I found the directing was getting stronger and plucking out more and more emotions as the story developed. The character development worked just as well um, as, the as the development of the narrative once you got past that first 40 minutes. Um, Helena is Lady Jane for me is brilliant. Now she is my first experience with Lady Jane Grey but I'm happy with that. I'm happy to say that when I think of Lady Jane I now look at Helena. It's weird because she obviously played Anne Boleyn in Henry VIII, which came after that, after this, but I saw that one first. So I'm like, do I prefer her as Anne Boleyn or as Lady Jane? I think I prefer the role of Anne Boleyn, but I think visually she suits Lady Jane better in my mind. Plus, I mean, she looks so young. You can see her there. It, she, she was, what, 19 when it was being filmed, I think, maybe, maybe 20, depending on how late on in the year it was. But it's remarkable. It'll never be my favourite Helena film. Um, Carrie Elvis is really good in this, but it's it's just not, not one of those films that I will watch over and over and over again. I will watch it again because it's a Helena film, but I'm talking like five years down the line or something. But in terms of historical insight, I found it quite interesting. I'm writing something just now that's based around that time, so I got quite a lot out of it in that sense. Definitely recommend it if you're a Helena fan. Definitely recommend it if you're kind of a fan of the monarchy or medieval kind of interests lying there but in general it's a good film I have no complaints apart from that 40 minute kind of roughness <laughs> I will have written a review in the, about this as well so that'll be in the below bar if you wish to check this out let me know your thoughts on Lady Jane and I'll see you all next time bye